Okay, we're down here now with Miss Rosie for our week two video recap. You're sitting there just posing for the camera, huh? Yeah, look at you, Rosie. Okay, so we are going to start. Oh, we may have to open a new bag of food. Let's see where this gets us. We're going to start with um, just charging our clicker for a few reps like we did last week. Oh, you got a little itch, Rosie? Get it out. Good girl. Yeah, there you go. Good job. You can get it. Good girl, Rosie. Good puppy. Good girl. Okay, so from there we're going to move on to following our food lure. Also same as last week. Oh yeah, Rosie. Good girl. Come on, you can do it. Good girl. Rosie's very submissive. So she wants to like keep herself small when I'm like interacting with her. Good girl, come on, you can do it. And so for Rosie, we're doing some confidence building here too. Like she doesn't want to like stand up and walk. And that's because she's trying to make herself small. Good girl. And it's just because she has a submissive personality type. Ready? Okay. And so when I'm working with puppies like this, who are a little bit, maybe a little bit more submissive, I want to build up their confidence. I want them to know they don't have to be super submissive, right? We're gonna have fun, we're playing. Good girl. Okay, so then after a few reps of following the food lure, we're going to do a little bit more of a formal recall exercise. I'm gonna show her that I got the cookie. Okay. So then I'm gonna call her from across the room. Rosie! Yeah, good girl. Here it is. Perfect job, girlfriend. Good girl. Where are you going? Ready? Okay. I'm gonna throw another one on the ground for her to get. Rosie! Yeah, there we go. Very sweet puppy. You're so sweet. Okay. Rosie! Yeah, you know this game. It's fun. Okay. Let's do one more. Rosie! Yeah, that's a good girl. Okay. Now she's moving and grooving a little bit. See if she wants to play with her toy. Whoa! Yeah! Get that flare ball. Oh, you got it! Rosie is so tiny. Yeah, you're so tiny. I think she's the smallest in this litter of five. Good girl, you got it. So play can really bring out your dog's confidence. Right? That's why we take time to play in between our training exercises. Look at this dog. Look at you. Good girl, Rosie. Here we go. Good girl. Okay, so I'm going to steal the toy back from her in just a second. Oh, she got it again. And then we're going to work on our position changes. Boop, boop. Oh, first we're going to do hand targets. I don't think, I don't think we did those yet. Rosie, touch. Yes, look at you. Good girl. Better finish. Rosie, touch. Good. You really got to chunk those treats up. You got a tiny little mouth. Rosie, touch. Perfect puppy. That's a good girl. Okay, now let's do our positions. Okay. Rosie, sit. Smart puppy. Good sit. There's a big piece. Okay. You got it though. Rosie, sit. So smart. Look at you. 
Let's sit. Okay. All right, now new for this week is down. I think we have just enough piece of food in here for our down. Then we're probably gonna have to grab a new bag. So from the sit, down. Yes, Rosie, good girl. Now you can see again here with Rosie, when I ask her to lay down, she really wants to roll over too. So this is also kind of playing into her, just her submissive personality. Okay, and I'm gonna really try to encourage her not to roll over. She doesn't need to be submissive if I ask her to lay down. Down, good girl. So I'm making sure that I'm feeding her so that she stays in an upright position. I don't want her rolling over onto her side. This is not a time that she needs to show me how submissive that she is. Okay. So again, I just want to build up her confidence and let her know that just by laying down on the ground, that's all I want. You're going to get clicks. You're going to get cookies for that. That's such a sweet girl. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to grab a new bag of food because this one is empty. You stay in there, Rosie. I gotta get a new bag of food. There we go. Are you trying to escape? Are you trying to escape? Okay. So we did some sits, we did some downs. She's doing very good with those. Now we're gonna do the second step in the mat also going to use the utilize the down position so same thing I'm going to keep in mind I'm going to try to feed Rosie um, in a position that she doesn't feel like she needs to roll over on her back if she starts trying to offer me that okay so I'm going to put her mat down on the ground this week we want the puppies coming over to the mat and laying down good girl and as I come down I'm going to feed her over here so that she doesn't roll all the way over I'm gonna feed her a couple of pieces just for holding that down on the mat. So we're working on duration this week, holding the down stay on the mat. Okay, and then I'm gonna release her off. Yeah, you can go get it, good girl. Let's do that a couple more times. There's your mat, Rosie. Such a good puppy, very good puppy. Very good girl. Okay, I don't want her rolling over, so I'm feeding her a little bit further away so that she stays in an upright position. Good girl. Okay. Do one more. Here's your mat. Perfect. Good girl. Very smart puppy. Okay. And the release. You can go get it. Very nice, Rosie. All right. So she's doing great with the mat. She's set up well for the next step that we'll add next week. Next, we're going to practice on the practice with the crate. So going into the kennel when we ask them to. Ooh. Come here, Rosie. Good girl. Come on in your kennel. There's a good girl. Good kennel. So she gets one for going in. We're gonna feed another one for staying in. And then we're gonna use that release word again. Okay. <laughs> Rosie, you're so brave. Ready? Kennel. Very good puppy. 
Girl Rosie. Okay. Let's see if she wants to do one more. Let her finish that one. Rosie Kennel. Oh, you found one that was already in there. Look at you. Good girl. Okay. She's got to hop out of the crate. You're cute. Why are you so cute? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to wrap it up with just a couple of handling exercises now. Teeny tiny Rosie, you're going to need this one. So this week we did introduce a grooming tool. We've got nail clippers down here. Oh, I'm going to come down with Rosie. It's difficult for you to get down on the ground, like it's difficult for me to get down on the ground today. You can always pick your puppy up and put them up on a surface. Or your handling exercises yes so I have nail clippers but it doesn't matter what grooming tool you have when I first introduce them usually start by petting the dog with them so you can do that a couple of times so she sees I got food in one hand with the other hand I'm gonna handle her with the grooming tool yes oh Rosie's a good girl okay and this time I'm actually going to touch the grooming tool to her little feetsies. Yes. 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 Okay. You want to chase that one? And last but not least, I'm going to put her in her harness for the last minute here just like we did last week. Oh my God, this is a two extra small and it's still very big. I got it's not that big, but. <laughs> what do you got on, your harness? Okay. <coughs> oh, sorry. That was a big sneeze. All right, so that's everything for our week two recap. Um, Rosie was a rock star. Make sure that you watch your um, video library, the week two videos in there. Think about getting your Zoom lesson booked. Availability is open for September. October will be closer to or at October. If you've got any questions, feel free to shoot us an email. But we will see you next week.